Right, I've uh, contributed from the perspective of the Dutch Competition Authority on the discussion on the cloud panel. Um, we've done a market study that we published uh, in September uh, last year, and we did that for uh, to have a deeper understanding of the se sector and determine our own position. Um, cloud markets offer uh, great advantages uh, uh, to users, um, in, in especially in scaling up and scaling down and the efficient use of IT capacity. But at the same time, the flip side of those advantages is that the hyperscalers are almost per definition uh, able to offer the most complete and highest quality services. And uh, there's a tendency towards more and more concentration and, and dependence. Um, so one important characteristic of this market is uh, quite strong initial competition and the importance of initial choices um, but afterwards there well a cus uh, client customers are what we're call, called locked in due to several reasons uh, like technical organizational and financial um, and that makes that customers aren't always able to respond to higher prices or lower quality compared to uh, to the competition so um, in, in trying to strike a right balance for between incentives to, to invest for the hyperscalers and regulations and remedies to keep the market open, uh, we, we think that the Data Act strikes that balance well. Um, and the ACM has specifically uh, recommended to also include um, uh, uh, obligations on, on interoperability. Um, just wanted to end with saying that lock-in in itself is not always harmful, but that uh, cloud markets have certain characteristics um, and they seem to tick all the boxes that, that do make um, um, uh, lock-in harmful. Those are the complexity of the services, the large bundles uh, of products, the strong economies of scale and the ability to, to differentiate between different consumers that are more or less locked in. Thank you.